Why should we care about the angle that we shoot a projectile at? Is there a golden angle? Let's find out. Today, we'll be showing you the fundamental ideas of projectile motion by firing an air cannon. Projectile motion. Projectile motion is the scientific modeling of an object's path after being launched into the air. In other words, we can calculate where an object will go after being sent in the air. Now, why don't objects just fly off into space? It's because of gravity. Gravity, gravity, gravity. 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 The field pulling objects back towards the Earth. Objects like rockets require a huge amount of energy to leave our atmosphere. Instead of flying into space, these projectiles follow a parabolic arc. This causes an issue with our calculations. Oh. We can't just apply our linear or straight line motion. <gasps> it won't work. <gasps> mm. Unless we first break down these equations into two directions. The horizontal movement in the x-axis and the vertical movement in the y-axis. Then we can apply our motion equations to each direction. Genius! Projectile motion is built upon three essential calculations. The SUBAT equations. SUBAT is an acronym um, that stands for the five variables needed to calculate a um, motion. S is for displacement, U is for initial um, velocity, V is for final um, velocity, A is for acceleration, and T is for time. We know that in the real world, this won't always be the case. Now back to our experiment. We need to estimate how far the ball will travel. How will we do this? By using the SUBAT equations, of course. Ooh. 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 Some of the values in the SUBAT equations are vectors, meaning that these particular values have both size and direction. But first, we tested our ideas with the scaled down version to see whether changing the angle would affect the launch distance. Let's go talk to our pipe technicians, Ron and Connor. Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty, pretty good. Tell us about this um, air cannon you guys made. Uh, well, it is a bunch of pipes put together. <laughs> Whoa. So Connor, how does, how does the cannon even work? Okay, so the main thing point is you want to get compressed air in the air chamber. Yeah. So what you do, you'll get um, any sort of um, bike pump or co air compressor, and you'll start blowing air into to the back, and you'll be able to see how much air is it in it because of the pressure gauge there. Mm -hmm. So when you pump, it'll make a sound like this, <laughs> and then you'll know when to stop because this will start leaking. <laughs> um, so once you, you you can fill up however much you want. Obviously, the more pressure you put in it, the more force you're going to get out um, from the barrel. Mm. So, is it safe? Yeah. Enough. So Ron, what are these cool attachments you've got? So these two are two different sized barrels that we use for the air cannon Ooh. to shoot different sized projectiles. So for example, this one yeah. is good for tennis balls and potatoes. Well, this one is smaller, so we can fit longer projectiles like Nerf darts. Ah, uh, copyright.
cool rub cool foam bullet things cool foam bullets. <laughs> <laughs> so for different situations yeah. we'll use different sized barrels does the barrels do anything more do they like well the... because pressure depends on the area covered mm. and the force applied the smaller the barrels area that it covers the faster it will actually move for the same pressure inside the chamber so we will be able to achieve faster speeds with this short barrel than with this behemoth. There's also a hidden feature in our air cannon where it doubles as a guitar. Good. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, we did it. How amazing was that? Our investigation found that the maximum horizontal distance or range was a golden angle of 45 degrees. No more, no less. Why? The change in angle and horizontal displacement follow a sinusoidal relationship. Basically, the change in angle is like a wave, peaking at 45 degrees before dipping back down. Any questions about projectile motion? Drop them down in the comment section below. Like and share this video. Thank you for watching.